Hello ladies and gents, Rogue here and welcome to No More Films. Today we're going to continue our iPhone tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover more of the control center regarding the timer or the stopwatch. So to bring up your control center right off the bat, we did cover this in the previous tutorial. Be sure to check that out. It will discuss everything that you may have missed most likely regarding control center. So to bring up the control center from your home button, swipe up and you'll have your control center. And like I said in the previous tutorial, you can bring this up in, within any app anywhere really quick access keys within your iPhone right here at Control Center. So the flashlight we've already covered, it's very basic, you just tap it, select it to turn it on, unselect it to turn it off. Now what we're going to be covering is this the timer here or aka the stopwatch I call it. So we're going to begin and the first thing we're going to cover within this app as soon as you select it, we're going to go to World Clock. And this is really cool because you, now you can actually tell, you can set it to see what the time is at different parts of the world. Let's say you're Olympics are in a different country and uh, you want to know the time they're showing or this live feed at the moment You want to know what time it is. It's very good to have this here So I'm going to show you guys the basics of the world clock within iPhone 5 and uh, This act this app is actually also available within the old generation iPhones and also the old iPods So at the first year as you can see I have three here already Cupertino Moscow and Paris so if you go up to the plus sign, top right hand corner, you may actually add any other additional place that you would like. Or let's say you want to search for something. Let's go to Madagascar. Mad, I'm probably, there we go. It's actually right there at the far and very top. And we're going to select it and it'll add it right here. Antanarivo. I'm sorry if I am pronounced that incorrectly. But there you guys are. It shows you tomorrow 10 hours ahead of my current time. And it's 2.11 a.m. over there. So now let's say you want to remove one. So I have these four and I want to remove one. You go up to the top left hand corner here. There's an edit button up here. You select the edit button. Now from this screen on the right hand side here, you have this little scrolling bar. You can actually select this on the right hand side, the little scrolling, the little bars. You can use, if you click on those, you can actually use it to drag them up and arrange them where you would like to have them. Now at the same time, you have this little minus sign next to them to the left hand side of them. And if you tap that, it will give you the option to delete the one the one that you may not want. And let's say you didn't mean to hit the delete, just tap somewhere else on the screen and it will remove it. And then just hit done on the top left hand corner when you're done. And there you guys have it, your world clock, your different times. And now you can know where what time it is in a different part of the world. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Catch you guys in the next tutorial. Later. Let my life be the proof. The proof of you